Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where it is time for Plan B. Now, why is it time for Plan B? Because my name is Didi, and wait till the end of the video and you will see. Yes, that was a rhyme, stupid rhyme of a Dutch. Guys, really cool chance today. Check this video all to the end because you will love what you can see at the end of this video as well. Let's quickly jump into the charts because I'm excited to share these with you. Let's go. Bam. First one over here. This is an amazing chart on Oryx. Yes, I use the Oryx platform a lot because you can have many charts and you can have the, all the books over there. And look, if you go down, you can have other charts and all data all in your same dashboard. I love it. You can add widgets to your dashboard and all that stuff. So that's really cool. I love it. Just check it. Use the link down below my videos to sign up to Oryx. And um, if we look at the four hour chart of Bitcoin, we saw that long flag over there on the 13th of August, very beautiful. We saw the closing green candle above the yellow stepping line over there. At that moment, to be very honest, there was still a little bit yellowish in the market. We could see the green starting, but here we saw the green dot and the really start of the green and the bam bam already crossed over there. So a little bit mixed signals because this one should have been earlier in my opinion, but still was one, two, three, four, and the green line wasn't up here, five, uh, indications that we should take that long and um, on the four hour that long would have been let's say we take it over there in the next candle at the moment the profit of 3.3 percent so yes also taking that two percent a day that we made a video about some uh, time ago but with a leverage of 10 guys this is a 30 percent trade which is an amazing trade let's jump to the next chart bam over here we can see in this four hour chart a little bit more zoomed out that yes we broke the 200 dead moving average we are moving above it we are staying above it and now we need to stay above that but i don't think that will be a problem because if you look at bam this chart then you can see that at the moment we are breaking the top of the gaussian channel and this one i talked about a few times in the video um, the first time in uh, my history of bitcoin i saw it on crypto crew university's video from steve and after that i started to keep track on that one yes and we went to the midline almost went to the bottom line but we reversed and we came this fly is fucking irritating and then we came to the top of the gaussian channel which is around now 47k if we close this candle in four days times above this one because these are five days candles every candle is five days um, if we close this one in four days times above it that is very 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 positive because mostly when we close above this channel we can expect fireworks like we saw here um, from the level of 10,000 to 60,000 beautiful that would be in line with plan b but you need to wait to see bam over here we have the weekly chart yes on this weekly chart we can see the same um, that the green candles are above the weekly ema ribbon hugely above it at the moment we are going to for this target the midline of the logarithmic growth curve which is around 50k what is the logarithmic growth curve again didi i'm going to show you one more time the logarithmic growth curve is the growth curve that bitcoin has been creating since the beginning of bitcoin and we mostly in the bull run top touch the top of that white line and in the bottom the bottom of that white line and the mid segment is mostly the line that we are fighting for some time like we fought it here uh, there in 2013 you can see it uh, here again when we broke it we went to the bear to run here again in 2017 we fought it here again we fought it when we went down it became bearish and now again this area we were fighting it over there and it's like comparable with this one we are pulled back and we knew well now we are going up again to the level over there and when we break it we can get that parabolic growth that we are all expecting in bitcoin so that's a very beautiful model at the moment and if you look to the bottom of the chart you will see here the stock rsi the blue line yes it crossed into the magical box and this magical box means that we are going to go bullish in my opinion so really cool charts and um, what do i have more to show this one bam over here my twitter if you don't follow me yet on twitter do follow me on twitter i tweet i tweet <laughs> i tweet all day long all day long is it all night long all night long no but uh, on twitter i tweet i just shared 
a tweet from Plan B. It's time for Plan B. Um, that he tweeted in June. Ah, worst case scenario in August we say above 47k. In September 43k. October 63. November 98. December 135. So August 47k. We can bam, put a dot there because we reach 47k. The beautiful part is the worst case scenario for 21 for him so we can go more bullish than this but september we can also pull back to 43k which then would be the last pullback before we go in that parabolic run to 63 98 and 130k really cool another tweet um, that i liked was this one check all week it's about a family the bitcoin family the bitcoin bunch whatever you want to call them in 2017 they sold everything and put it all into bitcoin when it was under a thousand bucks cnbc.com tech reporting mackenzie sigalos is here with more. She's got an update on the family and how they've been doing since. Traveling the globe, Mackenzie. <laughs> hey, Kelly. Yes, they have been. I first met Didi Taihutu, his wife and three daughters, four years ago when they had just sold their house, their business, their shoes in order to make this massive bet on Bitcoin. And remember, back then, the cryptocurrency didn't have the same level of mainstream adoption and institutional backing that it does now. And even when the crypto winter hit in 2018, wiping out a good portion of their life savings, they doubled down, buying even more Bitcoin and diversifying. And bam. So that was also really cool. We were featured on CNBC, not as the Bitcoin family, but as the Bitcoin bunch. How did he get the bunch? Why is the bunch there? Is it like the Brady bunch and we are the Bitcoin bunch? I don't understand what they're saying over here. But uh, always good to uh, reach mass media and show that you're still alive and, uh, you know, promote bitcoin because that is what we do as the bitcoin family of course guys let's jump into two really cool charts that are bam these charts yes the last two shots of the day uh, we are going to look at this one i found it on uh, willy who's twitter um who yeah willy who did you made that joke so many times now they don't funny not funny not funny anymore okay <laughs> so uh, it's not funny anymore no not funny Let's look at the chart. And in this chart, you can see the holdings in ETFs and corporate treasuries of Bitcoin. So these over there, they all huddle Bitcoin in their ETF or in the corporate treasuries. And we can see the total is huge over there. That's almost uh, 1 uh, million. That's a lot. A lot and then we have um, all ETFs combined in the red line and then we see grayscale on top over here so grayscale is one of the ETFs that's holding a lot of bitcoins and then you see all the corporates down here and you see also the dollar line this is micro strategy so you can see this micro strategy is holding a lot of bitcoins but this list in my opinion in the next few years is going to be very long like all the way to the bottom I think more and more and more corporates, comp companies, will add Bitcoins to their corporate treasury. And I think more and more ETFs will also add Bitcoins or more Bitcoins to their ETFs. So this is very exciting to see that this growth curve is almost going parabolic, is now going sideways. And after this huge run in Bitcoin, it's going to go more parabolic, in my opinion. And also these companies are going to go steeply up, in my opinion, to add more Bitcoins. Really interesting chart. And bam, we have one more very interesting chart. Um, and this chart, I need to put my face again on the right place. It is on the right place. Um, this chart is showing us the BTC real life cap. And you know what? We just made an all time high. And why was it an all time high? Because it was higher than the previous high. And so the strange thing now is, of course, if you look here, this is the all time high over there. Um, that now I think we have a market cap of over 350 billion billion in dollar in bitcoin which is higher than there was in bitcoin at the 64k so when we were at the price of 64k there was less market cap than now and now we have a 350 billion dollar market cap in bitcoin and again that is more money in bitcoin 
at this current price of 47k than there was at 64k at that time and that is really bullish i think the market is going to explode higher and higher and higher because there will be more money flowing into the market cap of bitcoin now because of all the bullishness and then we will rock it with this orange line even to higher levels and then the price will follow in my opinion i think that was everything for today yes it was all the flies i'm getting sick of the flies and the former life over here goats chickens flies chameleons yesterday we had a scorpion a scorpion at the door of the tent maybe i have a video of it i will add it in the scorpion huge scorpion this big guys hope you really enjoyed the video today if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to read them and also to respond to them whenever i find the time always remember to zoom out in bitcoin to zoom in that life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life goes is about we are going to go on a flight board lesson today never did it some electronic surfboard in the lake so let's see if it's cool um, and if you want to zoom out then check the chart of plan b because plan b has amazing charts uh, that teaches you to zoom out and see that bitcoin will reach a million dollars somewhere in the far future guys that was everything enjoy your weekend see you later maybe in the live and if not see you tomorrow in another ta video bye bye Bam.